country. The hula hoop remains controversial. <laughs> to welcome you, Blaine. When did you get out of the penitentiary, Blaine? Oh, a while back. Seems like you ain't too glad to see us, Sheriff. Who's he? Johnny Sands. I got a girl living here. The rest of it just stopped off. Stopped off for what? See the big show tonight. Any objection, Sheriff? No. Just so long as you behave yourselves. Thank you. You talk too much, Johnny. I never said nothing. You step out of line today, it'll be me and not the Sheriff that gets you, you understand? I'll be with my girl. You got to 9 o'clock. The Golden Age of Television presents Luke Anthony, Connie Hines, and Jack Albertson in Show Wagon with Toby Michaels after these messages. Well? One thing you may be sure, Senor Torelli, I shall return. And now, my pretty peach, let us take advantage of this divine moment. Hey, there's nothing in this script about a kiss. I said there's nothing in this script about a kiss. Amateur. I said that's enough. Oh, Steve, we were only rehearsing. All right, so you're here. Here's my here. Either he goes or I go. Oh, now, wait, sir. Sorry, Pop. Wait, you better find yourself a replacement. I'm an actor, not a pugilist. Why don't you just slap him like I do when he gets fresh? You keep out of this. If there's anything I can't stand, it's a swell-headed leading man. Oh. When I was with Booth... Well, you're not with Booth now. You're right in the middle of Arizona Territory, and I can't get another leading man this side of St. Louis. Well, if there's nothing in this strip about it, you've been your life. Stop it! What have you been doing? Stop it now. I've had enough of this fighting and bickering. We've got a parade into Bisbee before sundown. Now, all of you, pack up, let's get moving, and no more arguments. I don't know why. I've had enough of this. It's a show wagon. There she comes. Look, everybody, actors coming to town. We have come to your fair city to bring you laughter and tears. The classical plays of Shakespeare. The newest dramatic offerings direct from New York City. Tonight in your wonderful town hall, you will have the privilege of meeting great actors. Great actors, magnificent artists who have entertained the crowned heads of Europe. It's a night you can't afford to miss. Show wagon, show folks. What am I doing here? I had things planned differently back in Philadelphia. But when Phoebe joined the show wagon, I just couldn't stand seeing her go away. So here I am in the middle of Arizona Territory, 
studying my law books by day and being a villain by night. Me, an actor. Come on, bring your family, bring your friends. Admission, 50 cents, one half a dollar. Well, howdy, Jack. Well, welcome to Bisbee, Mr. Kimberly. How's the house for the night? <clears throat> Just fair. Oh, uh, Step right up, folks, step right up. There are only a few ducats left for that magnificent opus, The Bride of the Brigands. Oh, Judge, mm. I have a little equipment I'd like to move. No. You? Hello. Good afternoon. Are you the leading man? Me? <laughs> There's the leading man, that good-looking guy over there. I've never talked to an actor before. Well, don't make a practice of it. It's dangerous. in here? Why, there's no stage. Well, it's better than that saloon in Beaver Junction. To be or not to be. The acoustics here are terrible. That is the question. Phoebe, Phoebe, did you see well, that cowboy? Well, it is no good in mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous... How about rehearsing tonight's show? Well, if you'd ever get up in your line. Oh, Asa, stop it. After all, Steve isn't really an actor. Obviously. Or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing end Now look, them. about that kiss. There was nothing in the scene about Steve a kiss and... It didn't mean anything. It did to me. Stop. You knock Asa down, get him so upset he threatens to hand him his... Joe business. Sure I do. If I didn't, I wouldn't have bought an interest in this company. Just happens I like the law better. Then why don't you go back to Philadelphia? Maybe I will. And settle down and finish my law studies and marry a girl everybody isn't going around kissing. Steve, I wish I could make you understand. I do. It isn't that I like these one-night stands and split weeks and living in a valise. It's, it's just that I've just got to. You want to get someplace in show business? I've got to. All right, I'll help. What's the matter with that but one condition. One the Take it easy on those stage kisses. Now you just watch me. One, two, one, two, no, no, the right foot. Show business. One, two, no, no, you have to get both feet working together. Uh, together, uh, you have a left foot and a right foot. Get them working together. One. The golden age of television will continue in a moment. As the president, I recommend we buy a computer at Computerland. As chairman, I must consider our frugal fiscal policy. As comptroller, I'm sure we'll be very fiscal. Mm -hmm. Save money, too. Well, <laughs> let's call Computerland. Where's that, secretary? It's your turn. I know that. I bring the alarm. The brigands are coming. Oh! <laughs> what will we do? What time is it? It's almost eight. You get your things packed while I was asleep? No. Why not? I'm not going with you. I, mean, I thought I made it pretty plain, but I see I didn't. Why can't you just let me alone? Go with Bling and Hooper, rob the bank, steal all the money you want, just let me alone. Well, a fine way for a man's wife to talk. I'm not your wife. We got a divorce two years ago, can't you understand that? Somebody else, is that it? Even if you are telling the truth, I'm not letting you go. Not now, you know too much, baby. I won't tell, Johnny. You won't have a chance! 
We're robbing that bank safe at nine o'clock while everybody's at town hall watching that show. Go on, get your things packed. Now you listen to me, Johnny Sands. If you leave now, I won't tell. But if you make me go with you, I'll get away. And when I do, I'll tell them about the job you were going to pull tonight and about the one in El Paso. You killed a man, Johnny, and they'll hang you for that. Did I ever uh, tell you about the girl in Santa Fe? She was going to turn me in. She was a mighty pretty girl, too, since she got crazy ideas. to talk to you. But why me? Well, this morning, you looked at me. It wasn't the way the other men look at me. I don't have any friends. Oh, surely you must have some friends. No. In this town, women think I'm after their husbands. And men figure I'm just an easy pickup. As bad as that, is it? Divorce isn't easy for some people to understand. The milliners don't have very good reputations either. Look here, Miss, uh... Moss, Selena Moss. Miss Moss, just what do you want? I'm in trouble. I just killed a man. Come on, Steve, you're cute. Get off. You wait right here. There was a girl here tonight, Sheriff, but I reckon she left. I think I'll take another look out front. I hear someone approaching. For heaven's sake, Steve, try not to blow your lines tonight. You know how it upset days are. That's your cue. You're on. Ah, it is the good Captain Acuff. Good day. Signor Torelli. I find this is a good omen to find you here alone. My dear Captain Acoff, what could you Pop? possibly have to say? Don't just to stand you? there. Change your costume. I feel for your sake, my sake. Are you sure that girl isn't back here? Sheriff, I ain't sure of anything. I got my own troubles. Never, 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 never! I've warned you, Captain Acoff. Why don't I get any coffee tonight? So. I know every nook and cranny. Run over to the cafe and get some coffee. But, Pop, I'm an actress. Oh, well, let's see how well you can carry the coffee across the street. Hurry up, Take a vort before my eyes. Just as I have Zuleta and his men encircled in my steely grasp, poof, they disappear into thin air. <laughs> but I give you my solemn word, madam. Hook me. Oh, but I can't do it. I wouldn't know. My fingers are to learn. From which they will never Pop. escape. Yeah. Who is that girl? What girl? The one in Steve's dressing room. There's no girl in Steve's dressing room. There you are. Still no coffee. It's coming. It's coming. You jumped my lines twice in that last scene. Well, you didn't pick up your cues fast enough. And another thing, my pretty one. You're on, dear. Ahaha! Ahaha! Ha. Oh, uh, my dear Captain Acoff. I see that you have not as yet departed. 
I am leaving now. Of one thing you may be sure, Signor Torelli, I shall return. <laughs> Steve, I don't get the idea I'm interested one way or another, but to say the least, it's very unprofessional. Who are you talking about? Where, oh, where is the fairest flower of Tuscany? Where is the Phoebe, fairest you're on. flower of Tuscany? What's the matter with her? What a surprise to find you here at Eventide. The loveliest time of a spring day. And the trilling of the larks falls not more sweetly than your dulcet hello, Signor Torelli. Let's get this straight. You killed a man? Johnny Sands. Why'd you kill him? He had a knife. He threatened you? He'd have killed me. Then you acted in self-defense. Why didn't you go to the sheriff? I told you what the people in this town think of me, especially if they know that I was married to Johnny once. Why'd you see him? He came here with his ex-convict friends to rob the bank while everybody was watching the show. Tonight? You stay here. You're just the man I want. Me? Come on, Sheriff. Where? What are you doing backstage, young man? Bob, you may have to hold the second eye curtain. Come on, Sheriff. Hold the second eye curtain? I can't do that. What's the matter with him? 214, not counting standees. Say, that's a pretty good house. I can't hold the curtain much longer. They'll tear the house to pieces. It's outrageous. An experienced actor would never run out on a performance. Look, Steve is studying law. He'll know what to do. Well, there he is now. Now, where have you been? You can hear that audience shouting and yelling for you. What What's now, the matter with you? Are you all right? Yeah, you're on. You're on. Hurry up. Let it go, Pop. Huh? Akoff, I am going to leave these wild hills and Signor Torelli. You and your men could escort me safely past the brigands. But I am not Captain Akoff. I am Zuleta, king of the brigands. Ha 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 ha! Signor Torelli, you will never leave here alive. Bye, Zuleta, say so. Watch those kisses. It is you who will die, Zuleta. Fear not, my pretty peach. Right is on our side. But he is the best swordsman in all Tuscany. I will go for the sheriff. Uh, on guard! Now, you will never have to be the bride of the brigand. Oh. But, if I may presume on our short acquaintance, will you do me the honor to become Madame Torelli? Oh, willingly, senor. Willingly.
did kill a man and try to run away from our sheriff. Your Honor, gentlemen of the jury, can you blame this girl for running away? I can't, because there wasn't one person in this town that ever said a kind word to her. No one she could talk to. No one to tell her troubles to. Why else would she come to me, a complete stranger? I don't ask you merely to acquit this girl, which you must do. I beg you to let her walk out of here with all the pride and dignity that is due her. Not only did she rid your town of a dangerous criminal, but because of her, your life savings have been protected. He's rather good for an actor. How can I ever thank you? Don't try. Steve, you are wonderful. Why can't you be that good on the stage? Because I'm not an actor. I'm a lawyer. Don't just stand there, you two. Load up. We've got a show to do tonight. Hamlet. on a and &E, The Associates. Find out what the racket's about when Elliot discovers there's no return to a deadly serve. Next.